Greetings, members, one and all of the Salivation Nation. We are live. Everybody else is doing very well. It is this Sunday. Yes, indeed. I'm just a minute late. Maybe not. No, I'm not. Yes, I guess I am a minute late. Says Donald in New Mexico. Sorry about that. Very good. Hope everybody is doing well out there. It is Sunday night, and that means it is time for the markets to open, and they are open. And we're going to start with that and take a look, because sometimes there's some exciting stuff that can occur here. Yes, indeed. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to capture right now. Very good to see you guys. Hello, one and all. Very good crowd popping in here tonight. So now uh, the market has opened up, and now gold has popped down below $1,800 an ounce, folks. That's right. The market is reacting now. A little bit of a pullback for gold. 0.22%. Very good. Good to see you. And uh, here we have uh, silver is up $0.04. Cents. Platinum is down $6. And palladium is up $34. Good to see you guys popping in here. We've got Pathfinder here. Donald in New Mexico. Grow Mechanic. Dick Fitzwell. D Daniel McLaughlin. Thank you, sir. Give sound advice. But I have known to be given some bad advice, too. Good to see Nevada Stacker, Dixie Silver Miner. Long time no see. You hope you're doing well. Thank you so much. All right. Very good. All right. Let's see. Obama 17 NC is in vacation in Myrtle Beach. We're just checking the markets here. And uh, so we're just checking it out, seeing what's going on here with the prices for gold and silver out of the starting gate. Very good. There is a talk of another stimulus package that Congress may. Uh, work on when they come back. We'll see how that turns out. We've got Herve Middleton here. Gold Chick Vibefell is here. Hello. Welcome. Yes, indeed. Look at that where prices are now. Let's have a slurp of coffee here. All right. Very good. So, yes, indeed. That's where the markets are. So, we're going we're gonna to come back to those markets here momentarily. But in the meantime, I'm going to grab my... Uh, Boilerplate, we're going to check out some comments and some recent videos, which we like to do. Very good. All right. Uh, let's see here. Okay. So let's get to uh, some of these comments. We'll come back to these markets here just in momentarily here. John Liberto, very interesting video. Sal, Ron Paul Libertarian, a new subscriber here. I wonder how many people give any consideration to the critically important attributes of money. At one point of contention, prolific author Gary North has written that precious metals do not possess intrinsic value, but that their imputed value has been fairly stable for over long periods of time across many areas of the world. I find this important distinction. Agree with North. Thanks for what you're doing. Well, thank you, John. Uh, welcome as a new subscriber. And I have talked about intrinsic value. Um, I don't know what this imputed word really means or necessarily, but it might just be wordplay or semantics. But essentially, I mean... Uh, intrinsic is a value uh, that is defined in and of itself, and gold and silver, especially gold, well, and even silver too, has had that intrinsic value for millennia. Everything has intrinsic value, really, when you think about it. Uh, just some are very, very low. All right, very good. All right, welcome, everybody. All right, let's see here. Let me um, see where we're at here. We have got, uh, Hugh Man says, all elements come from stars. The ones that are heavier than iron come from exotic events like neutron star collisions. That's right. I guess in the end, the way the planets were formed and the like. But yes, indeed. I guess the Earth really wasn't created with gold and silver on them at first, or gold at least. R05 is my favorite so far from Joel McPherson. And I forget what R05 is, but on the eagle and eagle gold and silver eagle design video very good enjoy from seattle's here silver heist is here the treasure seeker is here welcome guys silver liner mm. very good all right welcome everybody silver liner used to live in michigan vanessa's here hello steve garrard says greetings big sal gold is money and everything else is credit there you go except for silver i don't see that's credit Joey from Seattle says, the banks announced recently, even taping posters on the windows, that we are a metal coin currency shortage. Why not paper currency shortage? Because you can't print metal. Why? 
Gold equals work. When the Fed gives up the counterfeit printing processes, they give up the counterfeit power. Well, apparently some of that has been started, has been done by the banks too, with them s slowing down and the like. And uh, so yes, so I think that's kind of what that's happening there. It's not necessarily the Feds doing it. It's the, it's, uh, CCT, CCT sent me an article about it. But anyways, Pierogi Stacker says I had to close my old channel down and got compromised. Oh man. Uh, what was your new, what was your old channel name, Pierogi Stacker? And I'm sorry about that. That really sucks that it got compromised. But welcome. And uh, yes, indeed. Let's see here. Uh, none of your business is here. He says silver is a sleeping giant and very well could be. Yes, indeed. Mr. Octopus is here. Good to see you. All right. Uh, where are we at? Okay. Uh, Steve Garrard says the real ratio, according to First Majexo CEO, is 1 to 8. Gold to ratio, ground ratio. If anyone tells me anything else, it's a lie. Well, no, he's right. The actual uh, ground to uh, gold to silver out of the ground, that's probably right. It's somewhere between 8 to 10 to 1. But the price ratio is very, very different, for sure. All right. Vanessa, do you care about the purity of gold? Yes. I like pure gold more than anything. All right. Donald in New Mexico. What is the guitar to shovel ratio? Good luck with your new series. Yes, thank you. Good question. I don't know. I have to do some math on that one. Here there's a shortage of coinage in retail stores. Yes, Mark B. I posted a video about that some time ago now. Uh, yes, indeed. Definitely did. I sold all of my gold. Not. There you go, Coin Fantasy. Eve. Wise man to not sell your gold. Let's explore, says Wing Zero. Yes, indeed. Uh, if you can't see this comment, type three below. I can see it. So I'm not going to type a three. All right. Very good. Uh, let's see here. All right. Felix Kramer von Klosbrook. Electrum that could start a whole new level of stacking. Yes. All right, very good. All right, very good. Cactus Jack says, Imagine in a parallel universe a dollar might actually be worth a dollar. But since I live in the universe, I'll continue to stack precious metals, no milk spots, and gold. Thanks, Sal, for an interesting video. Thank you. All right. All right. Uh, okay, Periogi Stacker doesn't want to say... We are probably safe saying, I just don't know who you are, but uh, sorry about that happening. But uh, okay, Pedenda says that according to the USGS, there's 17 to 1 in the Earth crust. That's right. So what's in the Earth's crust, but how available is that um, gold and silver? Um, but historically, I guess it's probably been around somewhere between 8 to 10 to 1. Kind of really hard to really peg it down, but yes, that's what's left in the crust. If you sample it, very good. All right. Gold is greater than all, even paper. That's right. Very good, very good. All right, let's see here. Okay, Silver Liner says, um, very good uh, very good video style. The Bible and the Constitution of the United States speak of weights and measures for money. It's in the Constitution that so many grains of silver and a dollar the crime of 1873 destroyed the value of silver here. The first time the government took our money away from us was in 1933. The second time they took the money away from us was in 1964. Now we have to use our currency to buy money. By the way, 90% of the pre-33 gold came back across the pond from Europe. That's right, Silver Liner. And that's why most of that pre-33 gold was selling for very low premiums over spot. All right, very good. All right. Carl Fole says, since the uh, current state of silver, would you suggest a newbie like me buy one ounce rounds or American Eagles maples? I think American Eagles and maples are going to be the most liquid, and I would encourage stacking those unless you can find the generics at a very, very low spot uh, over spot price. So, hold on. All right. And uh, put a little light on the subject here. Let's get... Um, through here, let's take a look at what the markets are doing. This is market watch after all. 
So right now, we had that little dip in gold, but now it is up a little bit. 30 cents, hovering right around $1,800. It's a dime short. As we slurp our coffee and take a bite into a strawberry. And, uh, yeah. So there you have it. It is um, up all across now, except for palladium. And it's only marginally. It's only marginally up. That's right. Platinum, silver, gold, all up very little. In fact, platinum is up the most. Hello, Dove Season. Good to see you. Very good to see you. Vanessa, why do you care about... Why does purity matter to you? Personally, as long as I get it for a good price, I don't care about purity. If it's 14K, I can refine it myself. Well, if you can refine 14 karat gold, that's pretty amazing if you can do that. But I stay away from anything below 90% gold. Um, um, you know, you can find that stuff jewelry and stuff like that, but you're just better off holding on to getting the more pure stuff. Much better. Uh, but, yeah. Unless you can find a way to refine it. But I don't have a way to refine it, so I stay away from it. Um, Pal KKK says, excellent video and very fascinating. Thank you so much, Pal. Appreciate that. All right. So not a lot of activity in the markets right now, but we're going to check them frequently here for sure. Darth Stacker's here. Good to see Darth. In Dove Season. Yes, Cactus Jack is here. Hello. Welcome. Hello, Medio Man. You're here. Very good to see you. Gold is rare, but not as much as fun as gallium, that's for sure. It's not nearly as much fun as gallium. All right. Mm. All right, let's see here. Burkhard Doms, that was a false breakout in PM. That means it will go down first. Okay, and very well may. It says that a correction is due. We shall see. We're watching it right now to see what's going to happen. Let's get back to the markets and see what they're doing right now. So far, uh, they're just slightly up. Now, there was a bit of a correction. Now, it's down 30 cents. All right, Kalonic Stacker has an MMA matchup. Charred Walls of the Damn Basis, Steve DiGiorgio versus Disgrace CNN reporter Jim Acosta. I guess it's going to have to definitely go with Steve DiGiorgio. He's also the bass player for Testament as well, so definitely going to uh, do that. All right, Angry Silver Wolverine is here. Hello, Angry Silver Wolverine. Good to see you, sir. Why are you angry? Because of the mint? Yes, David Carlisle is here. Yes, the man has uh, screwed everybody over on Silver Wolverine's latest video. Check it out and see what he's talking about and how they screw us over. All right, very good to see Pudenda, by the way. And we have All is One now. Good to see All is One now. Welcome, my friend. Stacking Krakens. High premium silver all the way. Yes, indeed. All right, let's see here. All right. Always enjoy the obligatory slurp. Yes, indeed. Hmm. There you go. All right. There you go. Thanks, Carl. Yes, he just got the reply. Thank you, sir. Now, Silver Steeler has a comment to say on this Path to $20 silver. Like you, I'm holding on to my silver. I find the GSR interesting given that most miners are pulling out 8 ounces of silver for 1 ounce of gold. Apparently... That means little to the price, which is concerning. Also concerning is a recent virus uh, lead to a sell-off to silver, proving how industrial demand is very important. So holding for the long term, my friend. Yes, that's right. And you're right. Industrial demand is extremely important for sure. Uh, yes, yes, that's right. Silver Wolverine has been unhappy in the last few videos. Yes. And I tell you what, let's have a bite of a strawberry for Silver Wolverine's happiness. All right. All right. Very good. Gen C, are you saying gold is from outer space? That's way out there, Sal. Yes. Sure is. That's what the scientists are saying anyway. Originally, it was from outer space. Okay. Another brick in the wall, too, says space may be the final frontier, but it's made in a Hollywood basement. <laughs> All right. Yes. I imagine these last two comments probably have the same feeling about space. Very good. Medium Man, according to our local bullion dealer, 14K to 23K, all the same. Just a gold content, 24K. He pays 
one half percent more. Yeah, and I think the reason why I'm not really a big fan of it is because, you know, um, liquidating it. Um, I guess if you can find a way, if you got 14k jewelry and, and, and the like, you know, they're gonna give you some matter of around spot over or what have you, or some matter under spot, but. I, it just matters to me. I, I'm not a big fan of... I think it's more of a personal preference. All right. Slava Key says, I wish I could afford one kilo of gold. I can only order a few silver coins. I go gold painting in Colorado. I heard they have a few rivers that might still contain some of it. Yes, I've heard that too. And people still do uh, hunt for gold, mine it, or pan for it and the like. All right. Very good. Justin says, cool video, thank you so much. And those who bully are cowards, sends his greetings, appreciate it. All right, very good. Hope you thumbed up the video too. And by the way, let's take a look at what the markets are doing right now. Yeah, gold is kind of hovering there, right at $17.99 for the ask price, just below $1,800. I was kind of thinking that might be support for it. And you never know what the week is going to hold. Silver is holding its own, staying just barely above 18, or up above its price. There it was 1881, and getting closer to 19 dollars an ounce. We'll see what happens. Guido Stacking is here. Hello, Guido Stacking. Good to see you, sir. Welcome, my friend. And we got uh, JD here. A lot of good folks popping in. So we're just looking at the markets here. Palladium has been down a little bit, but not by much. And gold slightly edging downwards, not by a whole lot, holding its own for the most part here. And the silver is up only slightly three cents, but it is getting closer to 1890. And platinum is at 826. And what do you guys think? Do you think that the silver is going to make a move up to $19 strong this week? Should be very interesting to see what happens. And will gold be able to hold on to that new resistance at $1,800? We'll find out. Very good. Logan is here. Good. All right. Stack of points giveaway is still there. Check out his video on the channel, Stack of Points. Yes, indeed. So he has a giveaway video going on his channel, Stacking Points channel. Very good. All right. Let's see here. Very good. Okay. Logan was first on this video, the manipulation video, and he's in here now. Very good, Logan. Well done, sir. Quick on the draw. Quick on the draw. And Nevada Stacker says third. Very good. And we've got Joey from Seattle says, I went to the store today, and all of you should have seen this commotion. Aunt Jemima, Miss Buttersworth. And Uncle Ben were protesting. Texas Pete and Captain Morgan were getting drunk. And Little Debbie was working the corner. And Jimmy Dean was showing everybody his sausage. The world has gone crazy. Somebody call Mr. Clean. Amen, brother. Well said. Hilarious. Hello, Flo Higgins. Welcome. Good to see you. Been a while. And David Carlisle. Been a while seeing you as well. Glad you're both here. All you guys. Very good to see you. All right. Very, very good. Ah. And Dale Val, do you mean JP Morgan? Are they finally breaking after being cracked down on? Maybe. We shall see. We shall see. Silver Wolverine says in the chat, by the way, Silver Hunt is here. He had a birthday the other day. Everybody, um, Say happy birthday to Silver Honda. It was his birthday the other day. Silver Wolverine says lots of people save fifty dollars silver. I said it needs to stay at more than nineteen for just a few seconds first. That's right, it sure does. And we are. It's trying to get there, Silver Wolverine. Right now, it's at eighteen eighty one, eighteen eighty four now, and now a gold has popped up into positive territory. Gold has been eking just a little bit on the negative side into the red. And uh, into the green, but just hovering very, very um, level there for the most part. All right. Andy Benjamin is here. Hello. Good to see you. 
Silver Wolverine is now, or Silver Honda is over 21 right now, which is good. And so, yes, silver is getting closer, 1885. Well, we'll find out if it breaks into 19 and holds. That'll be new resistance, I think. All right, very good. Back to these channel comments now. Nathan Fisher says the big deal about the silver manipulation is that the market is so tiny compared to other commodities, so it doesn't take nearly the effort to move the prices. Um, yeah, that's true, uh, but it's still large enough, I think, um, that and um, uh, that it's not, but that the natural market forces play a larger role, and there's other people that are making that are manipulating in such a way to move it up and down. So, yes. All right. It is a little stack. It says, meanwhile, in America, money and printer go burr, burr. That's right. It sure does. And with that going on, the prices of the metals stay kind of flat with all that money printing going on. But... We've got news to report now, folks, because gold has now just broken the ask price to $1,800 and 50 cents. It's now back above $1,800 right now. And uh, silver is holding steady there at 1886. Very good. Cactus Jack slurping while nibbling the flesh of a strawberry. You know how to live. That's right. Yes, indeed, Cactus Jack. Thank you, sir. Got to have a little bit of nutrition. The pleasures of the flesh run deep here. In this end of the microphone, indeed it does. Very good. That's right. I'm going to have another bite right now, just for, just because. Mmm. All right. Yeah. So it'll be quite interesting to see what happens with, um, with gold and silver this week. Um, I'm pretty bullish. I think they're going to probably go up. Um, and, uh, but we'll find out. We'll see. All right. Very good. Ah, Jimmy B is here. Good to see you. Glenn D is here. Welcome, sir. Yes, indeed. And Dakini Woman has popped in. A rare moment that she's able to make alive. Welcome, Dakini Woman. Thank you so much, my friend. All right. And Silver Speed is here. Long time no see. Hope you're doing well. Uh, can you do one-handed push-ups a day? Man, I tell you, Guido, I might have struggled with two-handed push-ups. It's been crazy. Um, kind of been tired, but I'm going to try to do a couple here momentarily. But thank you, Guido. Yes, indeed. Check his channel out. Good guy. Chris Garner, welcome. Optimus Locust says hello. Very good to see you. Silver so Wolverine says right now it's being manipulated up in my humble opinion. Uh, up in my humble opinion. Yes. All right, well, it very well could be. Chateau Boyan says, I enjoyed this gold history lesson very much, Sal. Looking forward to the next lesson. Yes, a pretty interesting series. Stay tuned. Thank you so much for that. All right. Sal, I need 21 push-ups for my 21st birthday. All right, there's our hand. We're going to do that for Silver Honda right now. So you guys can watch these markets as I do. Try to pull off 21 push-ups for Silver Honda's 21st birthday. Here we go. See if we can make it happen here. All right. Uh, let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. And we did it. We got it out there. All right. Whew. Man, we got it. All right. Very good. Hello, Silver Bean Counter. Welcome, my friend. Good to see you. All right. We're just checking the markets here. A lot of stuff going on here. Joseph O'Kane, welcome. He says, notice Chris Wayne is back on YouTube. Pumping his product almost daily. Yes, I did see that. All right, there you go. Duff Seasons, I'm going to grab a refill of my coffee before push-ups. Yes, Rooperman. 
Oh man, uh, Uperman says Sal 50. Oh man, I don't know if I could do that tonight. I feel feel kind of uh, off tonight for doing push-ups. That was a little bit of a struggle, but we'll try to do some more. Yes, indeed. Thanks, Uperman. Yes, I did notice that, Joseph O'Kane. Yes, he did. I, it does seem like it's a little bit too much of the pumping of his product. Yes, indeed. All right, there you go. All right. I need to do 80 more push-ups. So he goes from 50 now to 80. Yeah, crazy. Hello, Mickey Robs Banks. Good to see you. Truth or Nothing is here. Rick is here. Wing Zero is still here. Cheap Laughs Kennedy. Cyber Curtain Twitch are still here, too. Yes, thank you, sir. All right. So there's where the uh, prices are right now. We're going to check back in with these markets here momentarily. Uh, but it is, looks like they're all up except for Palladium is down slightly. So let's get back here to the channel comments and see what people are saying on some of these videos. Lucio Stacker, is the actual debate going to end bad uh, with the Roman Empire? Um, um, it, it very well could. It very well could. We shall see. You know, the Roman Empire lasted a thousand years or so. It took a long time. I never kind of assist in there, but yes, indeed. Yes, yes, indeed. Oh, well, thanks, Joseph O'Kane. I appreciate that, my friend. Yes, indeed. Very much, very kind of you to say. Let's see here. Hubble Khan says, Banks that get their hands on the first dollars printed by the Fed are not investigated until tar unless targeted. This guy must be a spy, whistleblower. This is about killing credibility, I bet. Mm, very well could be. Yeah, we shall see. David Garrison says, J.P. Morgan is like Forrest Gump's spine. Crooked like a politician, more like a question mark. Okay. All right. I don't know if Forrest Gump had a crooked spine. But anyways, all right, let's see here. Uh, Joseph O'Kane finally got my Celebrate Metal 1-ounce round. That is a small chunky round. Oh, very cool. You found one on eBay. That's cool. Congratulations, my friend. Very cool. Congratulations. All right. All right. Let's see here. Greetings. Okay, let's see here. Stephen W. says, as long as it's being manipulated down, I can sell my fiat at a better value. Come on, J.P. Morgan. Yeah, there you go. Exactly. All right. And greetings, young Dal. I wish I had more. There you go. I hear you. Me too. Let's see here. Hello, Juan Ortiz. Good to see you. All right. Good to see you. All right. Actual scientists, why would J.P. Morgan crack down on J.P. Morgan? Yes. Well, hey. For their own self-interest is my guess. Let's see what the markets are doing. Let's see if there's any manipulation going on in the markets. Well, they're up, so it must be manipulation up. Silver is now 1887, getting closer to 1890 as we take another bite of a strawberry here. Hmm. All right. And now, with a dollar difference between a bid and ask for gold, gold is a dime short on the bid side for $1,800. And Joseph O'Kane. Thank you so much. He's got a slurp coffee there. All right. Very cool. The first super chat of the night. $5.49. And thank you so much, sir. Very, very kind of you indeed. Yes, indeed. All right. Very kind. Uh, let's see here. Very good. And a lot of good folks here tonight. I tell you what, as we watch these markets. You know, the reason why we do this on a Sunday night is that's when the Asian markets open up. And... Uh, Sometimes we've seen some pretty interesting things when they do. So we like to watch the markets and see what they're doing, to see where gold and silver are headed. Usually it's some indicator or whatever. There's usually not big movements, but the fact that it's up now, it started out, gold was down slightly, just ever so slightly. <clears throat> now it's up a little bit there. So yes, indeed. All right, organic strawberries. Yeah, oh man, no, I don't think these are organic, sadly. But they're good. You know, all right. We got 141 here, 38 thumbs up. Thank you, guys. Uh, those thumbs up do help. So if you're watching this and have it thumbed up, 
It'd be much appreciated, and we'll also do that. Maybe we'll get Barbara's attention, Terry's attention, and uh, who knows? Uh, we might get um, other silver damsel might pop in too. Very good. So thank you guys. Uh, Cleocatra is here. It says I saw when silver went to nineteen dollars last week, and checked the premiums were still more than uh, when I bought. So glad I came here first for knowledge. Yes, the premiums are still up pretty high for silver, but uh, yes, indeed. All right. So truth and no truth or nothing is going to convert one ounce gold eagles. For uh, well, I didn't. It looks like I got rid of it, but anyways, for uh, some some silver. So that's usually uh, the other way around. But there might be an opportunity there. We'll see. All right. Oh man, silver bean counter thumbed when he walked in. Thank you, my friend. Very kind indeed. Silver bean counter. By the way, he's got a great channel. You guys should definitely uh, check him out. The silver bean counter. Great guy. Yes, indeed. All right. All right. Let's see here. Let's see, Rick is here. Hello, Rick. Uh, Flo says it's Monday morning here in New Zealand. That's right, Flo is from New Zealand. So it's 10.30 in the a.m. into the future, and it's Sunday night here. So the markets have opened up there, and that's what's happening there. Let's refresh these one more time before we take a look back at the comments. But before I do that, I'm going to take another bite of this strawberry. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. Yummy, too, I might add. All right, four nines find silvers here. Hello, four nines. Welcome. And yes, indeed. Uh, Len D says I will cover the difference in cost if you buy organic strawberries next time. Oh, okay, thank you, Len D. All right, yes, I'll have to be on the lookout for those. Thank you, sir. Probably is better to have organic. All right, let's see here. Ah, uh, okay. Do you have a sluice or are you panning it? Oh, search YouTube for things like panning gold in North Carolina. There are sites. That's right. There is a sort of a bell, uh, a gold belt in that area. And uh, yes, if you can find some gold there. Hello, El Porcano. Good to see you, by the way. Yes, indeed. All right. Very good. Welcome. Pamela Rice is here, our resident treasury secretary. Uh, let's see, when you've noticed that as Wall Street opens, the precious metals pull back 90% of the time. Um, yeah, I haven't really, because that's when I'm working, so I don't really check those markets right when they do it, but uh, it wouldn't surprise me if there's a slight pullback right, at the, right when they open. But I haven't studied that to see. All right, here you go. <laughs> All is one now. That's funny. Helps out by organic with the PayPal link there. Yes, greetings. Good to see El Porcano. I'm glad Pamela Rice is here. We just need Terry and Barbara. Crazy, they're not here. Let's refresh these markets one more time. Then we'll get back to the comments. So now gold is now solidly above $1,800 in the bid and ask price. It's up $2. And silver is holding steady, but still outperforming gold right now, but only by a small margin. All right, very good. Let's get back here. Joe Ramirez says, I really enjoy history, especially about precious metals and numismatics. Yes, it's really cool to see the history of how prominent the metals were all throughout history. And they still are today, just a lot different situation. All right, there we go. Yeah, Pamela Rice is a Treasury Secretary Sal gal. Yes, indeed. All right, let's see here. Ken Birkin says, what was the source of Egypt gold? Um, I don't know how they mined it. That's a good question, Ken Birkin. I'm not sure where that was. Sal, do we need Tricky? Yes, we do need Tricky Guy. Where is Tricky Guy? We could use Tricky here. Because maybe if Tricky Guy was here, he could summon the... Uh, the spirits of Barbara Carbone and Terry. Uh -huh. All right, let's see here. Rocky Superstar got, got Honda. He beat Honda to this video. Amazing. All right, let's see here. 
Oh, man, let's see here. Kobe T, silver, 600 bucks. Wow. Crazy, crazy. Uh, Burke Hyde Dom says, what will happen if the Robin Hooders enter the silver market? Hmm. We shall see. I know some people have been buying SLV with it. All right. Hmm. Yes, we need a bikini calendar for the Sal's gals. Who would be in on that? We tried that before. By the way, we can't bug Tricky Guy because he is just lurking in the next room, blind to the chat, but all ears. All right, very good. So, yes, how many of you ladies, um, all the ladies in here, press the number one if you would like to pose for a bikini calendar with your favorite silver or gold coin. Press the number two if it's a no dice. All females. Let's see. Let's get it over here. Let's see what it says. All this one now is not a female. Rocky Superstar says, The Department of Justice told Chase to reduce its silver position. I wonder why. Yes, indeed. Yes. We don't know that for sure, though, Rocky. I covered that in a prior video that was linked at the end screen of that and talked about it, why they thought it was the case. All right. Chris Garner, what do you think of the basketball coins? Uh, Chris Garner, I will, I will refer you to my unboxing video of the basketball coins for my thoughts on that. Uh, it's not good, though. All right. Uh, Andy Benjamin will be on the calendar. Very good. Okay, all right. We'll take you. We'll take an old Indian dude on there. It's fine. All right. Pipe dreaming, a virtual bikini photoshopped. Pudenda Johnson did not answer the call or the question if she would participate in a calendar. That's right. That's right. All I need is photographs. Hmm. It is a... I am discriminating. I confess, Dove season, that I am discriminating. It would be only for chicks. That's right. Gold chick. We'll learn our show join in. Nobody's answering. Nobody's answering. Good grief. See? Silver Honda, this is not a popular subject. They like to avoid this like the plague. Sal's gal's bikini calendar. You don't have to show faces. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh my goodness gracious. I mean, for your privacy, I mean, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, man. Millennial Stacker, let's explore. So I wonder why my female viewership's less than 10%. Chateau Bullion says, is J.P. Morgan doing the, the ethical thing? That's a contradiction in terms. Let's just say I wouldn't hold my breath. Yes, indeed. All right. So how do you think silver will be $20 by the end of the month? No. Uh, but I think by the end of the year it will be, Rick. Um, I believe that. But I don't think it'll get there by the end of the month. I think we'll see probably some pullbacks. Um, just somewhat pessimistic there. But it could be. I may be wrong. It's just a guess on my part. Dead clock is referring to the future. Need a Corvette and a time machine to go there. That's right. 12-month silver tabbies and golden retrievers counter is what I would want to see. There you go. Okay. All right, burgers are off the grill, and dang, all right. Yummy burgers, I don't blame you. Well, enjoy, Silver Bean Counter, enjoy. Yes, indeed. All right, let's see what the markets are doing right now, folks. We've got the markets. Okay, now they're reacting a little bit stronger now. At least gold is. Gold is solidly above $1,800 now, 1802 And uh, it is $2.40 up. Silver is up 0.46. Platinum is up $13. All right, very good. So uh, palladium is still holding down just above, just below $2 under. It seems like that market is, uh, that, that doesn't, uh, they don't report that nearly as often as palladium, silver, and gold. <clears throat> but, uh, you know, palladium's, platinum's a big mover here, though. Yes, indeed. Uh, the big mover. All right. Very good. And where are we at back here? Okay. I'm down in New Mexico. The banksters take care of each other. 
They are only concerned with their profit and not the health of our economy. If they make a profit out of what hurts you and me, what do you think they choose? All right, very good. Well, everybody kind of acts in their own self-interest. Uh, but many times in capitalism, self-interest is to serve others. With the banks, you know, I don't know. I mean, it's, it's, um, it's a different kind of animal, obviously. But uh, yes, indeed. Which is why we hold precious metals for things just like that, just in case we empower ourselves. All right. Uh, gearing up to do those push-ups as requested, says Bikini Woman. Very good. Platinum went up. That's right, Bill 457. Good to see you. Sneaky Somalia says exposed. All right. A silver liner says, of course, it's manipulated Sal. The last time gold was at this price, silver was around $37 an ounce, and that was in 2011. Their currency supply now is many times greater than it was. Let's explore to the moon. That's right. Well, I mean, it's... Uh, but we can't blame that all on manipulation. Natural market forces are at play. I've actually talked about why silver has been so low and spread apart from gold. Um, and uh, yes, indeed. All right. Let's see. Very good. Donna, New Mexico. Hey, Sal. Thumbs down to turn blue, too. That's true. That's right. It sure does. And it sure does. Now we have four thumbs down on this video, but 59 thumbs up. All right, maybe we'll get more than 59 thumbs up. Maybe if there's 157 people watching, maybe we can get some of them to hit that thumb up button. We'll see. Scrapper says, just like 2011, gold has been manipulated. There are dark forces behind the scenes, continually working to force the price up and draw in more schmucks. Then the price will be hammered down again. And that, like in 2012, when the gray-haired fossils start to die off, their relatives rush out to sell the gold and the price plummets again. But yay, though, there's no real proof that it's that strong and powerful. So, Rahalik, you're right. It's like magic. You click it and it turns blue. Yes, pretty wild. I learned that from John W. All right, very good. Yes, indeed. All right. Cyber Curtain Twitcher says 69. Why are people saying 69? Uh, let's see here. Terry, are you the last one coming into play? Last? All right, let's see. Very good. Let's see here. Hey, Sal, says John Bellinger. Hello. Good to see you, John. Welcome, my friend, on this video. Let's get to the markets and see what they're doing. Oh, 61 thumbs up for Sal. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dale Val. Um, Gold Chick, you did a push-up bid, Sal. Do it again for a hit. All right, let's do... Uh, uh, yes, I did do an actual video for push-ups some time ago, but I did it in a live stream, too. We did a push-up challenge for um, uh, Tomoko's Enterprise. Yes, indeed. All right, let's see here. Where are we at? 75 now. Very good. Thank you, guys, for this thumbs up. Let's see if we can get it over 100. That would be kind of fun. You know, sometimes it'd be kind of cool to do that. Chuck and Plata says, The crooks have long time cooked the books. Are they now cooking each other? Oh, good question. Good question, Chuck and Plata. Good enough question. It makes me want to eat this strawberry right now. Audrey Estep is here. Hello, Audrey. Good to see you. Welcome. Hope you're doing well. Dang, we got six thumbs down. Can we get some of those people to move into the thumb up column? That would be nice. All right, let's see here. Silver Watcher says, let's see who they shove forward to walk the plank. Yes, let's see if it happens. Let's get back to the markets here. They are moving. Uh, even though it's just a little bit, they are all, all up, save for palladium. Palladium is stuck at $2 under. But gold is up just over a tenth of a percentage point. Uh, $2.60, comfortably above $1,800. Silver is up a dime uh, to 1888 on the ask price, up. Just over a half a percentage point, performing better, much better than silver, although it's only marginal here. Platinum is up $13, uh, performing the best of all three metals here. Very good. 82 thumbs up now. Oh, very good. Nice. Actually, I show 84 now. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Those six thumbs downs are, are cryptocurrency bots. Yeah, there you go. Uh, thanks, Evil P uh, Pikachu. 
Why would anyone thumbs down this? Yeah, sometimes I have people that just don't like me for some strange reason. Or they're just playing with me like Donald in New Mexico. But he's, he thumbed me up, though. He actually thumbed me up. Very good. Thank you, Donald. Motivation evil. Very good. Usually in the background. Always love your show. Cheers. Well, thanks, Zane Peterson. I appreciate it. Even if it's in the background, I appreciate it. BKBK is here. By the way, BKBK, you keep deleting your comments. I can't uh, respond to them. I don't know what's going on there. Uh, let's see. Audrey, Sal, my kids, and I think it's so cool when you say my name and acknowledge that I'm here. Yes. Well, kids, let me tell you something, kids. Your mom is a great lady, and we're glad she's here. And uh, yes, indeed, I'm honored to have her as a viewer. And I hope you will listen to mom because she has sage advice. She understands uh, um, money and what's true money, gold and silver. And I'm sure she's a smart lady. Yes, indeed. So thank you to uh, Audrey and her lovely kids, too. All right, very good. All right, let's see. Andy, Benjamin, hello. All right, hello, Mark B. Says, and bong hit. Yes, no, it says, this is actually coffee, believe it or not. Mm. All right, very good. Nosematics is here. Hello, Nosematics. Good to see you, sir. I right, Donna in New Mexico, thumb me back down. Say her name. Yes, indeed. Audrey, a great lady. I'm glad she's here. I'm very good. Okay. Uh, where are we at? Let's get back here to the comments. Ken Simotic says, first, the crackheads at JP Morgan have to crack down on the usage of crack. There you go. All right. Yes, indeed. Very good. Okay. Sneaky Somalia, you got to understand the molecular structure of gold to have an opinion on it. That's right. Let's let's take it beyond the molecular structure. Let's go to the atomic structure. Sneaky Somalia, less than B. Let's get down to atomics. All right. Oh, man. All right. Very good. Cool. Yes, indeed. Thanks, Audrey. Yes. All right. There may be some uh, validity to his theory. Watch Mike Maloney's Seven Hidden Secrets of Money about demographics. Uh, younger generation will will be sell-off baby boomers, gold and silver holdings. Yes, they probably will. Uh, that will be interesting to see how that dynamic happens when that does occur. Uh, I think it would be good, better for all of us to, to hold on to more gold and silver and to get more people into it. Evangelize about it, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Daniel McLaughlin says, always a big thumbs up. Thank you so much, Daniel. Very much appreciate that. We're at 91 now, getting close to that 100 level. All right, let's see here. Very good. All right, let's do another 21 push-ups. Okay, here we go. This is for, now I usually do this um, uh, for dove season. I'm going to do it with dove season, but I'm doing this push-up for Audrey's kids. This is some push-ups for Audrey's kids. Here we go. No, I do not delete your comments, VK, BK, I promise you. <clears throat> Unless one of the moderators delete them, hopefully they won't. <clears throat> Let's see, here we go. 21 more push-ups for Audrey's kids. Here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 21 more for Audrey's kids. All right, there we go. Ah, oh, let's see here. Very good. All right. Yes. If you hold a wrench, um, I think there is a way where people that hold a wrench can delete comments. And uh, I would just appreciate that if you guys ever see a comment that's offensive, to email me if you're a moderator first and let me know. Um, because uh, I want to be able to see what they are and determine that myself. But yes, indeed. But thank you, thank you. All right, very good. So BK, BK, if it wasn't me and it wasn't you, then it would have to be probably somebody that holds a wrench that is deleting them on the channel. On those videos. All right, very good. <clears throat> Silver Britches. Hey, good to see you, Silver Britches. Welcome, and we have Rock and Rod here. Hello. Good to see you. Stacking Point says, 
Again, only 30 people have entered to win the six Troy ounces. Me and my barber are giving away. Head on over and watch my giveaway. All right, very good. So check out Stacking Points channel. Joey from Seattle, you must have Popeye arms. No, I don't. That's why I do these push-ups and try to do a little bit of weights because I don't have anywhere near the what I like to have. I'm very small framed, unfortunately. I hate it, but you know what I'm saying. Uh, Slava Key, yes, I'm definitely going to vote this fall. Yes, indeed. Good to see you, Silver Britches. I dream of doing bicep curls with gold bullion. Me too, James Orman. That would be awesome. Yes, indeed. Let's see what the markets are doing since we did those push-ups. What are they doing? Uh, gold is up uh, 0.16%, $2.80. Silver is up to $18.90 now. If it crosses over to $19 in the next um, uh, 40 minutes, because that's about when I'm going to probably leave this live stream, um, then I will... Well, maybe sooner than that, actually. Let's say half hour. If silver gets over $19 in the next half an hour, then I will do 30 push-ups at once. And I really don't feel like doing them tonight, but I've done 42 so far, so we'll see here. Roger Walker, here's here. I'm 62 years young. Oh, man. Well, hey, welcome. Thanks, Roger. Good to see you. Good to see people here. Oh, Barbara Carbone is here. Good to see you, Barbara. She made it. And Dale Vale is here. Hello, Dale. Let's see here, what was in the comments here? Buy Tesla, says Blue Diamond Jen. I've been Robin Hooder. That's the Robin Hooder likes the Tesla. Silver should be at $19. It was $19, and then the bad news said something stupid. News said something stupid, yes. All right, very good. Hi, Steve is here. Hello. So happy to have Barbara Carbone here. Golden Kangaroo is here. Hello, long time no see. I can't, I don't remember who you are. Do you have a different channel name before? But welcome back. All right, very good. I have just enough coffee left to slurp for Barbara. Abraham says, infographic is wrong regarding the most ductile metal. That, that title belongs to platinum. Hmm. Huh. Let's see. That's interesting. I'll have to look into that. Because I thought that uh, malleable, I know ductility is different than malleability, right? So I'm going to have to look into that. All right, scapegoat says value hunter. Yes, indeed, value hunter. Good to see you, sir. Keller's Cars. Hello from Canada. Silver up all the way. Let's see what's happening. Silver is 18.90 now, up uh, 11 cents. Now it's 18.89. So yes, indeed. All right, very good. And we've got 96 thumbs up now. We're only four away from 100 thumbs up in this live stream. Boy, that would be neat. Uh, Lemzia says the thumbs down are trying to short your video. That's right, exactly. Yes, indeed. Let's see here. Uh, Calvin Cooper's here. Superman, Sal, they need to do something about the premiums. Yes. Well, and I think really, I guess there is some more demand and uh but i think there's still a supply chain issue to some extent but basically uh they're starting to come down somewhat but it's going to probably take a little while for it because of, i guess some of the demand but make no mistake and when i did an interview with a, a bullion dealer he said the best way to uh, uh to stop the the high premiums is stop buying you know which is crazy you know to think about but yes indeed uh let's see here let's see i see silver up 19 dollars sal a time to do 35 more push-ups oh man well um steve garrard we're looking at it on kitco's price any bullion dealer is going to have a different price typically up uh, but uh yes indeed uh so yeah we're checking kitco price but yes at max and some of these other bullion dealers may have it already up above 19 dollars but we're checking it on Kitco. Very good. All right, let's see here. I'm not politically correct, says BKBK. Let's see what he said above. Could be mostly when I call out judiciary. Oh, yeah. Well, that's kind of, um, that's not, that's just rude. It's not, uh, 
that is, you're just a anti-Semite. But other than that, uh, will we ever see gold below fourteen hundred dollars again? Golden Kangaroo ask. Um, the longer it stays up where it is, it's hard to imagine, but it could. We could. I think we could see it there again. Um, maybe when things normalize, when this virus isn't an issue anymore, um, and if things stay kind of where they're at. I believe that we could potentially see that again, um, but it's going to have. We're going to have to tackle some of the larger issues with this money printing that's going out of create, going out of style. That's gone nuts. So we'll see where that goes. Um, but anyways, because we have not paid the piper on quantitative easing yet, in my opinion. And we didn't pay the piper for it back in 2013, and we didn't pay the we're not paying the piper for it now. I mean, you know, uh, inflation is targeted at two percent per year, and it's been uh, about that. You know what I mean? But I'd love for it to see it go lower than that. All right, let's see here. Very good. Let's get back over here. So let's see here. So 1801.70 silver is at 1888 now. <clears throat> pulling back slightly from its higher gains there. ASMR Charlie, find silver. I need some of those bars. Yes, indeed. It would be cool to get some of those form bars. Yes, indeed. All right. Let's see here. We got multi gun man. Saying, keep up the good work, Salvation Nation. Woo, woo. Shout out for you guys. We've got Rebel Stacker here. Hello, Rebel Stacker. Welcome. Hope you're doing well. Rilo is here. Where's money printing going? Up, 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 and up way. That's right. They can never recover from it. Backyard Bullion is here. Up late in the United Kingdom. Welcome, Backyard Bullion. I hope you're doing well, my friend. Good to see you. Yes, indeed. Hope you're doing well. Backyard Bullion pours his own silver, and um, yes, indeed, got good stuff. Gets it hallmarked and everything. Very, very nice. Check his channel out. Backyard Bullion, indeed. Welcome, sir. All right. And good to see Cleo Catra here, Andy Benjamin, otherwise known as Native Stacker, Rebel Stacker, all you guys. Great folks here. We have 106 thumbs up now. Very, very nice as we... Uh, are taking a look at the markets. For those of you just joining us, maybe not familiar, every Sunday night I like to do um, a market watch where we watch the markets open up from the weekend's pause first in Asia. That happens at 6 p.m. Eastern time on Sunday night. So we get here just in time to check it out to see if there's anything that happens. Sometimes there is, um, and it goes, goes crazy with some of these prices. We've had that happen a couple of times either by way of a glitch or real market activity. And tonight, things, everything seems to be fairly stable, but opening up to the positive side on all the metals, save for palladium, which is stuck at $2 below. But yes, indeed, very, very good. And uh, let's see. Sal, scam a caller. There you go. Yes, indeed. All right, yes, 148 watching. That's how many chickens I own. Very good. All right, Steve. What a quinky dink. What a quinky dink indeed. All right, let's see here. Steve also says JP Morgan has a lot to gain if they stop the manipulation. They will be the richest bank on the planet if they truly own that much silver in their vault, the physical. Well, I've done a video about that too. Do they really own that much? Um, and uh, they're custodians for a lot of silver, but they don't necessarily own it. Um, other agencies do. Do you think fractional gold is good right now? I think it's good. It's um, If you can find some good deals on it, I think it's a, a wise decision to get into some fractional gold, uh, especially some of the world gold that has already been minted. Um, like uh, that's especially some of the Mexican fractional, you know, the sovereign size, the um, the 0 0.1867, 0 0.2354 uh, weights are good sizes to get at a fairly low premium compared to 
you're better off getting uh, one ounces if you can afford it. Um, there's premiums in pretty much everything, but anyways. Corey Morrell, can I get a recommendation of some old coins? What is the most affordable non-details U.S. trade dollar? Yeah, boy, I tell you, it's not, you want to be very careful buying trade dollars, um, you know, because a lot of those are fakes. So I probably would get them slabbed, and uh, but I don't know what the most affordable would be. Yes, indeed, markets for barb. So let's see here. Let's look, let's take a look at the markets again. Now we see that they are all uh, up, and uh, silver's still hovering around 1889 right now. Gold's comfortably above 1800, 1802. Yes, indeed. So there we go. We have not ignored the markets. There they are. All right. All is one now says it's bad, J.P. Morgan. They got caught. They pay a couple million dollar fine, then back to manipulating a slap in the wrist and an evil cackle all the way to the bank. Yes, indeed. All right. And thank you, all is one now. You are the man. I appreciate you, sir. Slava Key says, I don't have a Chase account. I didn't like their service before. I keep my five bucks in the small bank only. I have only seen Yahoo yesterday, article yesterday. Can you remove commercials from your videos? Um, well, Slava Key, if I remove the commercials from the videos, um, I'm not going to be able to make any money on the channel. And, um, you know, that's not my sole motivation for doing this, but it does take quite some time. And, uh, and, and it is my part-time job. It has officially become my part-time job. And so this is a way for me to um, earn money for the work I do, although uh, I do enjoy it. But I hope you understand. And so, yes, indeed. So I'm going to leave those up there. You can always skip them, you know. You can always skip the commercials. Brandon Moyer said, <coughs> it's all about acquiring it. The price you pay is irrelevant. All right. Well, it's not irrelevant, though, Brandon. I mean, I understand what you're saying because you you look at it from the viewpoint of price versus value, and that's really the bigger picture in the long run. But long run, emphasis on the long run. In the short term, it's uh, it's in the short term, it does matter. But I see what you're going with it. So yes, indeed. All right, very good. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Thomas Kelly says, I never regret working with Hack by Kelly. Oh, man, crap. All right, this is a spam comment, so we will definitely report that. And then we will delete it. All right, let's see here. Hello, nice side hustle. Yeah, there you go. Thanks, Dove Season. That's what it's about. And, uh, and I do kind of reinvest back in the channel. That's what some of the Super Chat money is going for. But I've done other things, too. They're going to reinvest back in the channel, but it's it's a it's it's an interesting way. I never thought it would really get to this, but um, um, you know, it's just kind of grown over time, and it's all thanks to people like you, Dove Season, and others. I appreciate all you guys and your support for sure. So definitely, very much. All right, Sal, advertise the scammers. You'll make a killing. There you go. All right, agree. The exercise is quarter ounce sweet spot. Yes, the quarter ounce was a sweet spot. I don't know that it is anymore. But yes, indeed. All right. Good night, Grow Mechanic. Thank you so much for popping in. Yes, indeed. I appreciate Grow Mechanic. He's usually pretty quick in the draw on the videos, too. Welcome. All right. Very good. Have a good night, my friend. We have uh, 1KZ Rider is here. Hello. And, o and Ozzy Max is here. Very good. Yes, Silver Bridge's new computer is paying off. Yes, indeed. The new computer uh, is definitely... that. That is... Uh, it's been a good thing. I've not had any interruptions like I did before, which is very nice. Yes, indeed. Thank you, Silver Britches. It's been a good computer. Oh, man. Well, thank you, Dove Season. Man, see, thank you so much, my friend. Uh, yes, for those who don't know, Dove Season um, has, has sent me a super chat. And that money, what I get from it, will go towards some new equipment for the channel. And this purchase that I'm going to be making... I'm gonna um, I'm gonna unbox it when it gets here and heavily shout you guys out because this is this is just amazing and uh, um, still a little ways off for it but it's gonna be something that's gonna hopefully you'll see a difference. I've been doing some research on this stuff so we'll see here. All right, 
All right, so let's see here. So let's refresh these markets, see what's happening. We have two strawberries left, so I have a little coffee to slurp here. Yes, thank you, Barbara. Yes, you have helped me for sure. You guys, this channel would be nothing without you guys. So I appreciate every single one of you guys. Yeah, absolutely amazing. You guys are wonderful. All right, very good. So a little slight pullback for gold, even though it's still up, and silver. It doesn't look like silver is going to make $19 tonight, but I will do some more push-ups uh, for uh, dove season because I'm uh, very kind. So let's do let's do that right now. Metal Church is a great band. All right, indeed. And contribute to church and metals. Oh, there you go, 1KZ Riders. That would be cool. Just put a silver dollar in the uh, donation basket. All right. Uh, let's see here. So now let's get to this. Uh, we are going to do... Let's see if we can eke out 20 more. Let's see if we can do it. Let's see if we can do it. All right, this and aggressor is here checking in from work. Just in time, this and aggressor. We're gonna do 20 more push-ups. Here we go, here we go, here we go. 20 more, right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 for dub season. There we go. Stretch it out. We're going to stretch it out. I forgot to stretch before. So I'm going to do it now. Stretching it. Oh, shoot. Now I've got to get up from that. I've successfully gotten up from that. I know, fake. Fake it says. Wow. All right, let's see here. Where are we at? Oh, man. Wow, you guys are great. Periogi Stacker, thank you so much for the $4.99 Super Chat. Wow. Very kind of you. Man. Very kind indeed. And we've got Sneaky Somalia. Thank you so much, Sneaky Somalia. $4.99 Super Chat. Thank you, sir. It says, keep look at that. Keep it up. Now, he's got barbells there. And... I didn't know that was even there, Sneaky. Man, all right, let's see here. I'm going to actually get... I'm going to get my little barbells here. I'm going to do a little bit of barbell, just like that. I got this little 20-pounder here. I'm going to do these little, uh, whatchamacallits. This is called a uh, hammer curl. Because I can't do a regular curl because of my stupid uh, muscle... I've got golfer's elbow. I gotta be careful with that darn thing. Kim does not want to heal for some reason. Had it for a couple weeks, so I'm doing these little hammer curls here. Try to just some strengthening. Yeah. Yeah, if you saw me, you would laugh. I need to I am no means. Let's see here. That's that side, now this side. I'm not counting these. I'm just talking to you guys while I'm doing them. See, the thing is, is this stern arm that I've got the golfer's elbow on is my strong arm. But it's weaker for some reason for this stupid golfer's elbow. It's like tennis elbow, but golfer's elbow. And I don't play golf. I also don't play tennis. All right. There we go. Okay. To wrap it up, probably too. All right, very good. Thank you, guys. Very nice of you. Hello, Justin Sartain. Good to see you. My golden envelope. I've kind of abandoned it. Let me see. I've got it right here. There's nothing in it, not a single dollar. I need to get it going again. I really do. Um, I think I, yeah. All right, so let's see here. Let's look, let's take a look at what the markets are doing now again, guys. The markets are pretty much where they were last time. Not a whole lot of movement. Gold is up just a dollar fifty point oh eight. Silver's up a dime, just over a half a percentage point. Platinum is up thirteen dollars, uh, just over a point one and a half points. Palladium is down two dollars. Not much activity there at all. Very good. Uh, then what do you do with that one hand? I, well, Mark B, I think it's from operating the mouse on my computer. 
I really do. Cleopatra, I got my Planet Fitness card back. I can take a plus one to the gym. All right, there you go. I want to go with you, Cleopatra. I want to go with you to the gym. Good to see you, Justin. Yes, indeed. Uh, Uperman is working on his. All right. Markets are hanging in. Yes, they're hanging in there. Let's get back to the channel comments, see what people are saying. Bella Jessica says on this manipulation video, dude, uh, Instagram, best coin. Okay, there we go. Uh, another scam. Another, another one of these. They're getting more clever with it. What I need to do is take all the bit, is, is say Bitcoin um, or WhatsApp and put those in the home hold for review. That's what I need to do. I need to figure that out. So these never show up on here. All right. There you go. Switch hands and don't miss an elbow stroke. There you go. Exactly right, Bill Val. All right. Uh, Audrey has found the like button. Very good. We have 130. Five watching now, 116 thumbs up. Shekelstein, silver should be at least 25 bucks an ounce. If it were a natural market, I'm super conservative in that estimation. There are plenty of people on here that would uh, that say that's way too low. Yes, I agree. It should be more than that. I agree with you. But I think the reason why it's not is largely due to natural market forces rather than manipulation. That's where I differ from most of the community. Joseph Goodenez says, what are you talking about? There was an interview on Kitco the other day, and this is exactly what was said about J.P. Morgan. Uh, let's see here. All right, well, good. Somebody agrees with me. Very good. Calvin Cooper, this is a little nudge for silver to begin rising. When we have a collapse in the fiat system, silver will be at least a less, uh, have, at least have a less dramatic increase. The collapse is imminent and closer than we know. Yeah, I mean, uh, Cooper, I think every passing day, there's going to be something that happens. I don't know necessarily that it'll be a collapse, but I think it'll be a reset of the dollar, is my guess, of some some sort of way. Okay, let's see here. Thumbs up where, Joey? Yes, indeed. Thumbs up right down here. There's 120 of them now. Thank you, guys. This is great. You guys are wonderful. As we check these markets now, this is our market watch. And we're seeing gold now up. Uh, it's, everything's pretty much the same as where it was before. But we're going to check back in with it as we keep moving. Well, let's see here. We did see movement. Now gold is in the ask price right at 1802. Very good. And silver's up another cent. So it's 11 cents now, 1889. Very good. You guys are great. Let's see here. All right. We have lukewarm coffee. We're going to slurp it for Barbara. That's right. Corey Morrell says he likens a dollar to an oil vow oil voucher or a coupon. Yeah, that's right. And it's kind of like that. Promissory note with less promise than we th than we like to say. Let's see here. The store is trying to cut cash sales. It still is a problem. Yes, I posted a video about that. Uh, it's called uh, you know the uh, um, what was the title of that video? The c coins are like are coins of the new TP. I think that's what I made it. Coins of the new TP. Nice video, says the lovely Gold Chick. Thank you so much, Gold Chick. Appreciate that. You're awesome. Aliyah Zikheim says, I don't think the silver price is manipulated. If it were, then why would people sell ounces at $24? Maybe I missed something. Um, yeah, it's a, actually, that's kind of a good point there. All right, very good. Uh, let's see here. Psycho Stacker says, we are merely the bees of this solar system, mining the gold for the gods of the universe, a.k.a. extraterrestrials. Once we have decided we have taken enough from the Earth, they will soon swoop down, gather it, move on to another galaxy to just steal their honey. Yes, maybe so, but it well could be. You never can know. Let's have another slurp of some coffee. All right, Donald says the market is on fire. Let's check the market and see. If it is, in fact, burning. All right, 1801.90. No, it's not burning. It's just kind of just simmering. The market is simmering right now. All right, very good. It's on fire. Very good. Steve Garrard is here. Good to see you, Steve. Welcome. Let's see here. Uberman says, 
Yep, it sure does. Turn blue, Sal. Same, oh, same. We little guys are getting shafted no matter what they say, which is why you buy and hold, or you hold and not sell. These little eagles, these little silver eagles, mean something, and we hold them in our hand uh, for an appreciable amount of time. Um, it will eventually pay off, I believe. Uh, try not to sell at a loss if you don't need to. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, Mando Man says, if you own PMs for fun or savings, just hold on to what you have and watch the world, watch the market. Then be thankful you have it. Whatever you do, don't allow the pushers of PMs to influence your decisions. If you're new to PMs yourself, do a favor and educate yourself. The dealer, the PM market before purchasing precious metals, exactly right. Mando Man, well said. I agree completely. Totally agree. All right. Terry is here. She made it. Terry, you are late. Just in time for the bum rush. What's going on, Terry? You're just in time to be last. Good grief. You certainly weren't first. Ah, you don't care about my slurps. They do nothing for you. They canceled the crown. No way, Steve. Tell me you're not telling me the truth. Tell me that's not true. They just fi finished filming season four. Did they really cancel it? Son of a... Tell me that's not true, Steve. Don't make my night awful. The crown. They canceled the crown. I can't believe it. Son of a... All right. Sloppy Key's got 10 Morgan Silver Coins. Okay. All right. Good video clip again. Thank you, Truth Lives. I appreciate that very, very much. You are awesome. All right. Silver Heights says, J.P. Morgan... People will never get busted for silver manipulation, but they could get busted for trying, for lying to the feds. Yes. That's right. Very true. Let's have a bite of a strawberry to celebrate that comment. Mm. Oh, good. Not true. Thank you. Wow. Mm. Steve, you had me worried there for a moment. Mm. All right. 1KZ Rider, all you metalheads, take care and be safe. Thank you for popping in, my friend. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. All right. So, Steve, you, you made me worry there for a moment, but we're okay. Cleopatra says, I have been seeing a lot of new commercials on Bloomberg for precious metals, and that means the end is near. Season five is the last one. Okay, thank you. Son of a motherless chicken, says Dale Val. All right. One push-up per slurp. All right, man. I'm... By the way, and hello, John Knapp, I have done... Uh, I have done, let's see here, 20, uh, 40, 63, 60, uh, yeah, 63 push-ups now, tonight. Uh, Gen C, why do you buy so much gold at any price? Um, <clears throat> well, I buy less gold when it's more expensive because of my budget, Gen C. Yes, indeed, I try to buy, but I still will buy <clears throat> at any price. I may just buy fractionals, um. It's dollar cost averaging because you don't know it could continue to go up but we don't know we don't know thing is is to live within your budget you know what i mean all right very good let's see your cell uh how how can they try you for lying to them when they lie to us all the time yeah that's true exactly it seems like pretty hypocritical that's right human has a five ounce aztec it's wonderful Glenn D, thank you so much, my friend. Glenn D has popped in with a $5 super chat. Thank you, sir. Thank you, my friend. Slurping, my friend. Thanks a lot. I appreciate that. Every little bit certainly helps. Thanks so much again, Glenn D. Very kind. Slurping beer is awesome, too. Yes, it is, Slava Key. It sure is. All right. So let's get back here to the channel comments. I smell something cooking, says Nose Maddox. Yes. Very well could be. Very well could be. 137 more, Sal. All right, yeah, we got 134. We got uh, 124 thumbs up now. Very good. And John Knapp says, whenever I see that blindfolded woman on the scale adjusted, everyone's justified equally under the law. Uh, I think to myself, BS. No, I hear you. Yep. It's like she's pulling up that blindfold and looking under and letting them get by with stuff. Uh... 
All right, there we go. Test your password. How to secure my password.net, Michael. Okay, because that's related to this video. They are after you. Yep. Most of those places, when you sign up, they'll tell you if you have a strong password or not, by the way. You really don't need that website. Glenn D, blue on you, Scooby Dooby Doo. Thank you, Glenn D. And thank you again, my friend, for popping in. I appreciate that. And thanks for the super chat. Sal, are low mintage gold coins worth it? Uh, you know, damn you still here. That's going to be a subject of a, um, of a video I'm going to probably be doing in the near future. Maybe not exactly on that topic exactly, but very, very close to it. Good question. Very good question, damn you still here. So stay tuned to the channel. Then we'll be probably covering that. Uh, Silver Knight, thank you so much. All right. He says, Silver Knight sent us $5 super chat. Says, thanks for keeping up the fight for gold and silver. Thank you, sir. Yes, indeed. Try my best. I appreciate that. All right. Very nice. Appreciate it. All right. Vintage Libra. Heavy metal is the most sought after. Yes, it sure is. Heavy metal is the best. That's right. Let's have a slurp in Barbara's honor. Mm. All right. As we move on up through here. Kuna Coin says, thumbs up, Sal. Let's explore. Yes, indeed. That's what we try to do here on the channel. Keep in mind, J.P. Morgan... Uh, was principal in bailing out the uh, the government the the gov and the 08 Lehman crash ECT that was hours away from a total crash. JP is in one of the primary stockholders in the privately held Fed. Please look up high frequency trading on YouTube and blow your mind. Yes, use the quote marks in the search. Very cool. All right, thank you, Gold Chick. Yes, and uh, but see the thing is is yeah I have to look into that high frequency trading, but even as such I know it's very quick in how they can do it. Um, but, uh, you know, my guess is if, uh, they look at patterns and stuff like that with the government. So yeah, we'll see. It's just, there's a lot of different theories out there for sure about it, but I don't know. We'll see. But thanks, Gold Chick. $19 will hold Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, close at 1922. Get ready. Okay. Paul D has called it. We'll see here. We'll see what happens. The stacking kid is here. Hello, good to see you. He says, hey, Sap. All right, yes, indeed. Okay. I'm very good. Glenn D also come for the most sought after intro and outro on the planet and stay for the great content. Thank you, Glenn D. You are awesome, sir. Very kind. Do bullion stackers ever purchase coins with numismatic value? Um, I do, but I think you'll find that more and more stackers do. I find that a stackers, hardcore stackers, they do end up having a bit of collector blood in them, for sure. Doctor Who is here. Hello, Doctor Who. Let's take a look at the markets one more time here. We've got the markets making moves. Uh, not a whole lot of activity, though. Not a whole lot of activity, uh, but they're all up slightly. Gold solidly over that $1,800 level now, up 0.11%. Uh, Silver is uh, up $0.09. Cents. Platinum is up $12, and Palladium has been stuck at $2 under now. Okie Dog is here. Thank you so much. I have to, to leave, but thank you for what you, do, for what you do. Well, thank you so much, sir. I appreciate you being here. Very kind of you indeed for that super chat. Uh, thank you again. I appreciate you stopping in. All right. Very nice. We have 130 thumbs up and 130 watching. So we're almost even from the thumbs up to the number of people watching. Very, very kind. All right. Very good. Let's see here. We have got Morgan on here. Charles Watson Wilson says, too late to crack down now. The U.S. dollar and economy is already cracked. Get prepared to use a Mexican peso. Oh, man. Well, I think that the dollar is overdue for a reset. Um, but maybe not because they can continue to go with the current situation with the dollar. And then we'll do that for as long as they uh, can. Uh Sal, what do you think about gold and silver stocks? Um, I'm not a big fan, and I don't really do the paper silver thing. Um, although I can understand why people who are in the um, stock market, who who are heavily invested there, may use that to kind of uh, hedge themselves. But I think the real thing is better than the stocks or ETFs. Hmm. All right. All right, let's see here. Let's refresh these comments here. Sneaky Somalia, good question. How does this reset happen? All right. Well, in 1944, um, Sneaky Somalia, we had a um, um, 
they did what was in turn a reset of the dollar, essentially. They basically made the dollar uh, as the world reserve currency so that other nations around the world who were war-torn after, uh, well, it was almost after the World War II, they could uh, use the dollar, which was backed by gold that we were holding. Remember, we got a lot of gold uh, sailed over from the United Kingdom and other countries trying to get rid of their gold to prevent Hitler from getting it. So the dollar was essentially set up or reset as a world reserve currency at the time. And uh, everybody, it, it was a standard that I talked about actually in, in earlier in the video this morning that I talked about that kind of gold standard where other countries use the dollar and the dollar was backed by gold. So it's a reformat of, the, of how the dollar is valued. So when they revalue or reset the dollar, it will probably be something that happens with uh, the powers that be and uh, we had Bretton Woods, which was in New Hampshire. I believe the next time will be in uh, will be in Wyoming, Jackson Hole, Wyoming, which, which is where the Fed meets to do their thing. And I believe that they have, probably have already talked about it, have already set it in place, and they may end up to do something to play some sort of trickery to reset that dollar uh, to give confidence in it around the world. And they're probably waiting for things to get worse before that happens. And not just here, but more importantly, around the whole world. This COVID situation may be the start of what is going to happen. With more nations printing their currencies, as you see more crisis, currency crisis in other nations, people want to have confidence in a currency that's sound. So then they will give the, use that opportunity to reset the dollar. And they may even use gold as part of a rules-based monetary system where gold may be a part of it, and then will provide some sort of confidence. In April 2019, the Bank of International Settlements set gold as what is known as a Tier 1 asset, which means that central banks can essentially use gold for debt payments. And uh, it's essentially the Bank of International Settlement is a central banks of the central bankers, and it provides that much more confidence. I believe that we may see something like that happen. So we'll see how that plays out. But that is how it will, I think that's one way how it could occur. And it will revalue the dollar. In other words, the dollar may have a new value to it, kind of like what Zimbabwe did in 2009. In two, November 2008, uh, their, their currency had essentially crashed, where the highest denomination was a $100 trillion note. And uh, by January of uh, 2009, that $100 trillion note was replaced with the new Zimbabwe dollar. So we may see something somewhat similar to that, but we'll find out. Sorry for the ramble on there, but it was a good question uh, there by Sneaky Somalia. All right, let's see. Let's get back to some of these comments now. What we have here, we have got... Uh, Glenn D again saying, Sal, I'm next on the list to have a ring crafted for me out of four out of a 4.5 billion year old meteorite found in the mountains of Switzerland. Oh, that's going to be quite a treasure, my friend. Wow, that'll be really cool. I'd love to see that. I mean, email me a picture of that. That'd be awesome. Evil Pikachu says, JP Morgan has no choice other than to crack down on their manipulation because they got caught. That's right. JP Morgan has been shorting the crap out of silver for all these years. It keeps silver low. Wouldn't surprise me if they did the same thing for gold and platinum too. In fact, the the uh, the, uh, the arrests and the charges that were made were for gold and platinum as well. Uh, metals are undervalued. Also, we're near. Uh, we might hear later that other financial institutions such as Nationwide and Goldman Sachs are getting caught doing the same thing too. Yeah, they very well may. Very well may. All right. Uh, all right, we got Ozzy Alchemist here. Good to see you. Been listening, multitasking. Thank you. Very good. Slava Key, is it too late drinking coffee? Uh, this is cold now. Let me get a little sip in here. I've been remiss. All right, very good. Uh, does it reset me? My platinum is worth $100 and my gold is worth $50. Oh, man. You know what, Hugh, man? I don't think so to that extreme. But it may be something similar to where the new dollar is. So in other words, if uh, they do a new currency reset, they probably will re, 
adjust everything based off some sort of metric so that, you know, if let's say that let's just use a minimum wage as an example. If minimum wage is $15 per hour, they may reset the dollar to make it stronger and more valuable and say, okay, the minimum wage is going down to $8 an hour. And because the, the dollar is stronger by a percentage point, which means the gold and silver will essentially go down in price. And your salaries will also be adjusted too. Your salaries will all adjust downwards. Um, and uh, so, yeah, so when we shall see. All right, let's see here. Silver Bean Counter says, personally, I hate it when gold and silver transcends price and makes it hard to buy. I do too. I do too. And I'm in a buy mode, so I'm with you on that. Kevin W. says, I, it'd be a hell of a lot happier if the question was, is the U.S. government finally cracking down on manipulation? Now, that would be huge news. All right. Well, uh, supposedly they are, to some extent. Posted a video about that. Hmm. All right. Periogi Stacker is here. First time and first. Good to see you, sir. Thank you, my friend. All right. Imperial Label is here. Hello. Good to see you. Very good to see you. Silver Eye still here? Um, Imperial Label, sell after your stream for doing a music... Uh, we doing a, a music stream benefit for Tomoka's Enterprise on Mr. Popzilla's channel if you want to pull up after. Oh, well, Imperial Label, thank you so much, my friend. That's great. You're doing that. Awesome. Mr. Popzilla's channel. I've got some things. In fact, I've got a, I should have left already, but I've got some things I've got to do. But good luck to you, Imperial Label. That is awesome. Very cool from Mr. Popzilla. Uh, thanks to you guys, we raised, I think, over $1,000 here or close to it. Uh, on the push-up challenge. So um, head on over to Mr. Popzilla's ch channel for another event for him and get him his new bionic leg. That would be awesome. So let's get back here to the markets quickly here before we go. Uh, gold is, uh, well, they're pretty much stuck. Man, they're pretty much stuck. Uh, 1801.50, 1888, up uh, just a hair over a tenth of a percentage point for gold. Just a hair over a half percentage point for silver. And platinum is stuck at $12. Palladium down $2. All right. All right, let's see here. Where are we going? Okay. I drive a tan tank. All right, says Pierogi Stacker. Very cool. All right. Thank you here. Very good. Where are we at? Somebody called me here. I gotta actually take that call because I was expecting to hear. Paul Richards, I think it may be more along the lines of them trying to cover their arse than it would be for them to ethically lawful. All right, very good. Okay, Johnny B. Good says nothing is gonna happen. Silver will go back to 16 bucks this time next year. Uh, you know, it could. It very well could. We have to be prepared for that possibility. We really do. All right, Pierogi Stacker, I don't want to say. All right. Oh, we're in here, Pierogi. Thank you so much. Glenn H. says, The government does not seem to care about whether J.P. Morgan stops manipulation of the silver markets or not. I predict J.P. Morgan will not stop manipulating the markets ever. All markets are manipulated now, including stocks and bond markets. That's right. It's a fact of life. I'll cover that in the video as well about this, about the manipulation is everywhere. It really is. All right, so I enjoyed this video very much. Thank you. Thanks, 4 nines. fine. Appreciate it. If you share it uh, with other people, that'd be great. Thank you so much. All right, everybody's leaving now. Night, Steve. Night, Steve. Thanks so much for being here. And uh, yes, thank you so much, Steve. Ozzy Alchemist gave a 200 thumbs up on this video. Thank you so much. We have 140 thumbs up on this live stream. And guys, I think we're about in. It's time for the bum rush. <clears throat> yeah, I am a little bit tired, and my voice is a little bit off, and um, I've got to, uh, I've got a, a couple of other things i got to do tonight. It's been kind of a crazy weekend, but thank you so much for being here, guys. I appreciate all of you, a multitude of gratitude and all that jazz. You guys are great. Hello, Silver Steeler. Just in time for me to leave. Thank you so much for being here, everybody. We will do it again Tuesday night. Yes, indeed. So I hope you all will pop in again then. We had fun checking out the markets. That's what we do here. A multitude of gratitude. Keep your feet on the stars. And keep reaching 
for the ground. Take care, all.